Let's check two-step verification in Telegram. Now, if you're in Telegram and you wanna make sure your account is as safe and secure as possible, I would always recommend checking on that two-factor authentication or two-step verification, basically making sure that it's turned on and that password is set. I'll walk you through the entire process, but first, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's open up the Telegram app here. And we're going to add it into your settings. So tap on settings at the very bottom, right? And then we need to scroll down a bit and you'll be able to see under notifications is privacy and security. Let's tap on that. Now you can see the third option is two-step verification. Let's open that up and it says additional password. You can set a password that will be required when you log in on a new device in addition to the code that's texted to you via SMS. So I can hit set additional password. And basically I can enter in a specific password to be auto filled here. Let's see if I can just copy this one. Copy it and paste it in here. Now I'm gonna skip the hint and recovery email. I can just type in my email address and hit continue. Now you'll be able to basically enter in the code associated with that email. So they will email you a code. And then from there, you can just use that code to affirm basically that you have access to that email address. Now, if you go through all of these steps, then you can have two factor authentication or two step verification turned on. Now, keep in mind that you need that password to be able to log in on any other device as well as access to the phone number associated with your account. And then of course you can also, if you wanted to turn it on and make it a little bit quicker, you can always turn on password lock and this can use your face ID as well to just unlock the Telegram app so that no one else will be able to read and interact with any of your messages. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you, if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.